and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and to everybody on YouTube for some Mist Wraiths. We're going to be trying out uh, the new card Risen Myths with four mana burst ability to summon a Mist Wraith so we can get as many Mist Wraiths as we, uh, as we want. Like hopefully we can get a bunch. We have our regular Mist Wraiths, we have our Risen Myths to get Mist Wraiths, and of course we have our Wraith Callers getting more Mist Wraiths. So we're going to be a Shadow Isles, very aggressive deck with all of these large fearsome units. We have our Frenzied Skitterers to help those fearsome units get through as well. And then we have two aggressive champions with Callista and Zed. Um, then we have the Curse Keeper Blighted Caretaker combo. Uh, Stygian Onlookers, a great card that can be a 1-mana 2-1 if we have like the attack token turn 1. But this is also just a great card to play later on, like on... Uh, you know, turn three, we play one of these three drops. Turn four, we can play another three drop and play an onlooker afterwards. As Like if we have the attack, attack token there and make it a 4-1. Fearsome just fits in our fearsome um, game plan. Same with the Ragnoid Horror, which is a great card that fits in our fearsome game plan. And then one Harrowing at the top end in case we need it. All right, so that's, that's the... Um, that's the goal. That's what we got going on here. Let's play five games over in ranked. We'll see how it does. Um, we don't have a bunch of interaction, so we're hoping to just kind of get ahead, stay ahead, have our fearsome stuff finish the game out. That's the goal. We'll see how that works for us. <laughs> Everything costs three in our deck. Okay, do we just keep Zed and Callista? Keep a couple of three mana cards. I mean, the Caretaker is good with the Callista, but we need to find some ones and twos. Possibly we should mulligan Zed. I, especially not having the attack token on turn three. Yeah, maybe I should have mulliganed one more of these. Alright, well this Curse Keeper definitely an important draw. So one thing I'm worried about with this deck is just everything costing 3 mana. As we have seen. We're trying to be an aggressive deck. Definitely worried about that. So it's possible that, that maybe a different region could end up being better to uh, splash to just give you know to just get another champion and Zed since that does cost three also. Possible. It's something that we'll kinda like play and, and uh, figure out. Um I didn't really want my Callista to block one of like you know this two one or the two two and then they use like the the two mana drain one from shadow isles Come to kill the callista because of course callista is about to level up So Pale Cascade would take down Callista. Our vengeance has burned long enough. Act now. Not sure if that's worth it. We are supposed to be pretty aggressive as well. I guess I guess so. Yeah, 
Yep, yeah, there's Pale Cascade. Alright, so sacrificing this, they shouldn't get the random Nightfall card in hand, I don't believe. Oh, I guess they still do. <laughs> so still, they're left with a 2-2 two, two, and a 2-1, and I have a 4-3 and a 2-1. So we're ahead on board, and we have two extra cards than they do. So right now, it's looking okay. But we'll see. Um, I think my plan is maybe Arachnoid Horror and then Frenzied Skitter. Chosen of the Moon, we open our hearts to the Moon is our queen, the Night her kingdom. Okay. Now we talking. So Blighted Caretaker plus Callista. Mm Tough call of what to do. I mean, because I, I like I like kind of all of our options. You know, I like Chronicler of Ruin with Mistwraith. Or Blighted Caretaker, Mistwraith, Onlooker. Everyone's a god. So I killed the, the Frenzied Skitter so we can bring back Frenzied Skitter with Callista. If I challenge these two... I guess I'll challenge those two. They don't get to block Callista. Or Frenzied Skitter. They're just taking the damage. I know your true heart. But they're gaining three with this Golden Sister. The Silver Sister is going to be staying alive. I don't know, getting getting through this now is gonna be a little difficult. Just all these things were three health. And my little two ones couldn't couldn't kill any of these three things that I needed to kill. Evening glows. But they're saplings! You, you, you will never, never fight. fight. So probably another Pale Cascade to kill Callista, but I guess that's just the way it is. I don't want to take that two damage, put me down to three. Ooh, no Pale Cascade. I 
or what do they have going on over there? Arise in our time of need. So why would why did they just pass priority and not even play that card? So that's gonna bring the four three back. Possible I should be attacking with my Bark Beast also and then and putting like my Callista last so my Callista wouldn't bring back the 4-3. So Callista would die with the block, but then my 4-3 wouldn't die. We'd have that Bark Beast attacking as well. I guess I can't have... All right, so it looks like this is probably us being dead. But I'm having the other three two. I'm keeping this in case, keeping the black spear in case they'd have the elusive, the two three elusive. <clears throat> All right, well now black spear doesn't do anything. But I was worried about that two three elusive. That Cygnus is a good finisher. That is a good finisher. That six drop. Um, but yeah, that I mean, the, the card that really turned that game, the card that really cost us that game, was the six mana Celestial that gave them the four three life steal and the four three elusive. That was the card that cost us that game. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't love this Curse Keeper. Okay. Now that Curse Keeper is looking a lot better. <clears throat> it's looking a lot better. So we'll have the turn to 10 power. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know how we would have leveled if we had Nocturne in our deck. I don't know how we would have leveled Nocturne. Meanwhiler, a brand new Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Meanwhiler. That's awesome. Thank you so much for the support. <clears throat> In our deck full of three drops, we found a three drop. To play here, so we'll have Zed, then we'll go Wraith Caller, Chroniclers for Wraith Caller. Avalanche. So I think I should probably just go straight to attacks. And attack them for nine instead of playing Wraith Caller first. Against Avalanche.deck. Good. Because if we would have played Wraithcaller first, if they had another Avalanche that would have killed Zed and Wraithcaller and Bark Beast, that would have been sad. They, if they go Trundle or Tarkaz next turn, then Augur. Well, they're they're dead if they do that. Pretty sure they're just dead. But yeah, if they just spend their mana on like a unit, they're dead. Get him. So yeah, that's the kind of stuff they need is burst speed healing to stay alive. It's not going to be quite enough. Does... Okay, yeah, no, even if they gained another 3 life from the 5 mana, game 3, they still dead. But that is where Zed looks great. They avalanche, and then I play Zed. <laughs> That did its thing. That was a pretty perfect game for us, though, right? Like we had ten power on turn two, and then we played Zed that attacks for six for our turn our th turn three play. Yeah, you know, then our turn four play put seven, I guess, put six power into play. Also, all right, Mulligan, Mulligan. Mm, no one drop this time. One drop. I think it's worth just curving out purposes, getting this 2-1 in play right now. And we have to be worried about Avalanche as far as, you know, going like Skitter and then Onlooker this next turn. Ah, uh, that hurts. They get a blocker. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. I can go Burst Speed ri Risen Myths to help in with the attack. Ugh. <sighs> Or I go uh, Blighted Caretaker plus Onlooker. So 
So basically, do I play around Avalanche or not? But even if I go... Even if they have Avalanche, we would level up Callista. I think even with Avalanche, we level up Callista and play an Onlooker. The biggest problem is another avalanche. The first one they kind of needed to stay alive. Now it's just do they have another one or not. But like they, they were dead if they didn't have that card. Hopefully they don't have another one. First Miss Wraith. Let's go. They look angry. Uh. So close to dying. So close, but yeah, if they have another avalanche, I am in a lot of trouble. Every betrayal sharpens our resolve. It's always cold in the Brel Yard. It's good to be the king. Bleh. Ravenous Butcher just sitting here doing nothing. Bow to your king. This is gonna be fun. They don't have any burst spells. We can kill them here. Any burst or fast spells. Um, play Caretaker on the Mist Wraith. That's not worth it. I mean, this is this is it. It's our best chance. Do we win or do we lose? And we lose. Dang, they had a perfect hand. Did not think we were losing that game. You know, they had exactly what they needed those different times. Like they needed the avalanche, and then they needed that. Uh, then after playing the Trundle, they needed that gain five whenever I went straight to attacks. They had the cards they, they needed. Drew Smoke with the donation deck. Thank you, Drew. What is what is your deck right there that you just donated for? Yeah, it's a lot of healing. It is a lot of healing. 
But it's all about that av that avalanche, right? Like without that avalanche, perfectly timed. Keep Zed into Wraith Caller. Hopefully, find earlier stuff. No, too many threes. Nothing like the Leona Trundle. Okay. Are playing Callista or Zed? I think Zed. Yeah, I think Zed. So I'm gonna play this first. So they can react to this, spend their mana. Four three trades a three two. All right, Zed's leveling up. Block Misfortune, take five, go to ten. Okay. Um, so I can play Arachnoid Horror and Blighted Caretaker. Could go straight to attacks right now, but Blighted Caretaker should be pretty nice. We obviously could just play Callista and just stick with the Fearsome as well. If they don't break, they'll burn. Make the Empire proud. Right, they can't block Fiersa, but it's not going to kill them. If I play Callista, then they just, you know, they just take four, seven, nine. They just take nine, go to five. They block Zed and block the other thing. And so they just, like, have two things die with the blocking Zed, blocking the other thing. They just go to five. That's not really a, a bad scenario for them. Where if I... Caretaker, we have our two, our two challengers that kill these two. And then they still kind of need to block Zed. The order. They got two cards left. I got two cards left. Let's get her. Not bad. Because, you know, that's getting, like, Noxion Fervor or Make It Rain. 
likely one of those. Mega ring. And so I just, you know, I want to reduce the damage. Cool, so now we don't die to decimate, that's good. Uh, this is going to go back to being a 3-1, so that's 10 damage with Callista and these two. If I, go, if I go right to combat, it's still 10 damage right now with them blocking with the spray fin. Ouch. That was the perfect mega rain. One, I, I didn't want damage to the Nexus first, then obviously if damage to the Nexus, I didn't want to do it to the 3-1. Really did it to both. Well, it's not like I can just attack and kill them, so they're gonna if they have Decimate, I'm just dead. They, they get to play Decimate. I can't stop them. Alright, so that should be another Noxian Fervor, probably. Okay, if I just attack... Now yeah, I gotta play this. No one's the wiser. You can't do this. Alright, well I guess not not noxion fervor. Just don't have anything I can draw to stop them. Transfusion. Okay. We are so close in these games, but they're just not, you know, we just can't finish these games out. We're so close. We keep on getting our opponent to two or less. <laughs> uh, but we're just not quite getting that little bit. Maybe we need another, maybe we need like a seventh or eighth one drop. Maybe. I don't know, we're getting so close, but just not quite killing them. Yeah, we do need some burn. I mean, Zed's good, but probably... Instead of playing Zed, playing a region that has burn spells would probably be better. Like, Noxus. Where Noxus has a couple good one-drops, a couple good burn spells, like Noxian Fervor. Probably where we should be. We don't have the attack token on turn one. Um. Okay, Bark Beast. We were peaceful. Once. It's our time. Yeah, I guess Doom Beast is an option. Play Doom Beast could play the the new Vile Feast that can drain upstairs as well. Ouch! These Mega Rains, I don't like them. But we we'd have to we'd basically play Doom Beast over Frenzy Skitter. We have twelve three drops right now, which I think is too many three drops. We really can't afford more. Lunari, rise. Face your heretic. The question is if I want to Blighted Caretaker to try to kill Diana, or if I want to go Wraith Caller next turn and then Chronicler of Ruin and, and start going like that. I think my answer is Blighted Caretaker. And I sure hope they don't have another Mega Rain. Yeah, 
Yeah, we 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 want to play like around six or less of the other regions' cards. We can't we can't play too much, but you know, like Noxus would give us like one 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 drop and you know like play like a one drop and Noxian fervors, for example, or maybe a two drop. We we don't really have that great of maybe a two drop. Hmm. Oh, you're interesting. Moonlight guide me. This pill cascade card has frequently been awesome. Just all the time in, in different games over the last couple of days. Pill cascade has been awesome. So but just to draw like a Mist Wraith where I could triple spell here with Arachnoid Horror, Arachnoid Horror, Mist Wraith and just get all these fearsomes. Never lost a fair game. <clears throat> in play. Oh wow, we missed our allegiance. We have Zed on top. Yuck. Had lots of variants be going our opponent's way in these games. I mean, <clears throat> we wouldn't level if you, if you played Nocturne in this deck. You wouldn't level up Nocturne. Pill Cascade was awesome. So you say Nocturne on turn four if you have a board full of Fearsome is really strong aggro. How? It's a 5-3. If you play Nocturne on turn four, you get a five three, because none of this, none of this has any text. 
So how is a 5-3 really strong aggro? Like if we play it on like turn 6 and play like a 2 drop first and then we nightfall and then have this. Yeah, like you have to, you have to be able to, to enable the nightfall. Yeah, we wouldn't just have Nightfall turned on on turn 4. That's impossible. Um, but yeah, I'm not, not sure. Like, Zed, Zed was pretty awesome for us. Zed is a really strong card. But we noticed that we, we really struggled with that extra reach. Um... And so maybe going with a, a region, you know, maybe just having some extra burn spells, maybe a region that has some burn in it could uh, help us out. But obviously missing with Wraith Crawler is a huge, uh, is a huge bummer. I don't know. We were really close to winning a lot of those games and then just didn't go our way. You know, like we just, you know, we put them down to one, put them down to two, that kind of stuff. That happens. All right, so there's our first try at Mist Race. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments if you have um, other ideas with the Mist Race. Uh, if you have, you know, like which, what region would you splash and things like that. Because, yeah, you really don't want to miss w with Wraith Caller. That hurt us a lot, that last game missing. But but the thing the thing about this is we saw playing against us, like Pale Cascade was amazing. Feel like we do kind of need just some kind of like pump spells, right? Or just we just need some kind of combat tricks. I feel like, um, you know, our our deck has thirty three units, seven spells. I think that's really the the problem with our deck and why we can't get through. Our seven spells. We have glimpse beyond. That's not a that's not a combat trick or a way to get through. We have risen myths, which is just another unit. So that's not even a spell. That's just a unit. And then we have harrowing, which is just more units. So all we have the entire deck is just units. And I feel like that's the problem with the deck, um, that we need you need cards like Pale Cascade and and just removal spells, and you, we just need we need spells, um, whether they're protection, whether it's pump, whether it's removal, we need things to interact. We need ways to use spell mana. We just don't have that with this protect, and I think that's the main problem of why I can't get through, why I can't finish the games. Um, uh, as far as no, I wouldn't play Darius and Apprehend for Noxus cards. No, if if I'd play Noxus cards, I would probably play. I mean, I'd definitely play Noxion Fervor. That'd be the, that'd be number one. That'd be the reason to play Noxion Noxus cards is Noxion Fervor. I'd either have Noxion Fervor and Death's Hand, maybe just those two, or like Noxion Fervor and Transfusion, maybe just those. Or if I play units, I'd probably play like Legion Grenadier with one of those spells. Or uh, one of the one drops like Precious Pet, and one of this, you know, like maybe like Precious Pet and Transfusion, or Precious Pet and Noxion Fervor. Those would be like the cards I'd be looking at for playing Noxus. Again, as we talked, like I, I think it needs spells, needs interaction, needs protection. That's the kind of stuff that this deck needs. Um, not Guillotine. No, I don't. I don't care about like. No, we need we need to be able to finish games off like Nexus wise. We need Nexus damage, but then also removal and Nexus damage is nice, or a combination of either one. I I wouldn't want Culling Strike or Guillotine. We need ways to finish those games out. But Transfusion could be awesome. <clears throat> we saw a lot of those like removal of barely killing our things. Have Transfusion, be able to have Sapling, uh, kill some stuff. I think that's what that's what we're missing. All right, so there we go. That's Mist Race. Um, yep, again, those of y'all on YouTube, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.